Welcome back! The sun came out, so we are bringing PE outside again. I have a question. Do you remember playing hockey in PE at school earlier this year? Well, today I'm going to show you a summer version. It's pool noodle hockey. Now, if you're by yourself, you can still practice hitting and moving the ball down the field back and forth and scoring goals. But to play the game, you're going to need at least two people. Now, the equipment you're going to need, you're going to need one pool noodle per person. And for my younger, little, my littler people, you might want to cut the noodle down to about two and a half to three feet tall because a shorter noodle will be much easier to, to control and it'll make the noodle less bendy. So, the pool noodle is going to be your hockey stick. And the next thing you're going to need is a beach ball. You can use a big ball or a small ball. Big ball is an easier target to hit, but I've found a smaller beach ball is a little bit easier to control. Again, it's a little bit lighter, so hitting it with your noodle makes your noodle a little bit less bendy. But either one will work. And then the last thing you're going to need are goal markers. So for this game, I used our water bottles filled with colored water. I did one side with orange the other side with purple. Those are going to mark our goals and that is the place where we have to hit the balls over. So to play the game, oops, sorry, to set it up, first you're going to put goal markers at opposite ends of your play area. And to play, two players, one from each team, are going to go to the middle of your court. You're going to put the ball down on the ground and face each other. This is called facing off. And when somebody says go, both teams or both people are going to try to hit the ball with their noodle and try to score in the other person's goal. Now, before we do that, I have just a couple more important rules for you to remember. So just like in hockey, your sticks stay down on the ground. In other words, you can't raise them up in the air like this. You'll have two hands on your stick on this end, and the other end is going to stay down on the ground or on the floor. So you're going to keep both hands on your stick, which means you can't touch the ball with your hands, and you can touch it with your feet. There's no kicking. You have to move it with the noodle only. So you can set whatever point total you want, maybe five points or ten points. First person to get that many points is the winner of that round and then you can play as many times as you want. So here is what it looks like. So I'm over here on this side. I'm going to try to hit the goal or the ball in between James's goal posts which are over there, the orange ones. And he's going to try to hit the ball in between my goal posts which are the purple ones. So here we go. On your mark, set, go. We're tied one to one and we can keep going until we get as many points as we want. Now, some of my older kids might want to change it up a little, take it to the next level. If you want to do that, you would go ahead and grab your pool noodle horse that we made during Texas week and now we have a polo game. So, we're going to use the same basic rules. Excuse me. 
We're gonna use the same basic rules that we used for hockey, except now one hand is gonna be holding your horse and you're gonna have to gallop through. And again, we're gonna try to use our noodle, which is now our mallet, to hit the ball in our opponent's goal. And this time, instead of saying go, I'm gonna say giddy up. Here we go. Again, we're going to stop there just so you have the idea. Now it is your turn to go have a ball with either or both of these pool noodle games. Giddy up. I'll see y'all back here tomorrow.